Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I wanted to talk to all of our budding dashboard enthusiasts out there and talk to you about database structure and uh, your Excel data structure. So what I have here is a sample of data that uh, is very similar to one that I received from a person who needed some help. And as you can see, um, down here below, they've got uh, January 2011 as a tab. They've got February 2011 as a tab, March, April, May, um, going on and on for six or seven years, uh, definitely four years from January 2011 to uh, today, 2015. And um, they had fruits and vegetables um, separated into their own little areas. And uh, they were using this to track some data and they wanted to create charts for their dashboard template. And it becomes a real issue because uh, if, uh, you know, trying to create formulas to find each one of these for every single tab that gets created, it's just very, very difficult. Um, so I want to suggest that you always, always put your things, uh, put your data, I should say, into tables. So even though this is a table right here, it's just for fruits on this one tab of August 2011. What you really want to do is you just want to combine all of your data into one big data set like you see here in this data table. So we've got all of our dates. So January 2011 for fruit and vegetables and then each type of fruit and vegetables and the amount sold. So if you're a budding dashboard designer, put all of your data into as many large tables as you can and then just create some different cuts and slices and dices of the data. So even though we have a date, we do have a grouping and a category and a value, then we can create other columns like month and year that if we just want to see January or we just want to see 2011, we can create pivot charts and pivot tables off of this data. And uh, you notice we've got fruits and vegetables. Um, so you saw that January data. Well, here it is all in one table. Then we add February, then we add March, April, May. Um, it doesn't seem like... Uh, you may be able to show your data as easily to your clients, but you actually can probably show it more easily. Uh, so <clears throat> what we're going to do is in the next couple of episodes, we will show you how to create a pivot chart with slicers so that you can slice and dice your data. Um, and instead of doing it uh, in different uh, tables um, by tabs, you just want to have it in one large table. Um, and then you can slice and dice your data um, as much as you want with slicers. You can create a chart off of that. We're going to show you how to do all of that in the next couple of episodes. So once again, please do not create your data on a single tab for a month and a year uh, and then create a new tab every time you do that. Just create one large data table, put all of your data in that data table, and then um, just continue to add your data every month as you get it and then you can create really cool slicers and dicers and uh, excel pivot tables and charts off of that data and we'll show you how to do that in the next couple episodes once again this is steve equals true please visit my blog at excel dashboard templates.com where you should learn other great posts tips and tricks also consider subscribing to my video channel so that you'll learn the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox thank you